So we have a whole lot to cover today. I'm gonna to try to get through it all. Stick with me. So what am I doing today? Well, we're gonna talk about LS and we're gonna talk about some of the history. Why am I doing this? Well, because whenever I was looking for a tractor, one of the things that I had to consider was where's this tractor made, who makes it, and how long have they been in business? We're gonna go through that today and I'm gonna to try to do my best. Now look, I don't have all the information. I'm not an expert at all, but I hope to be able to cover enough information to get you interested for you to go back and look at your history. One of the biggest problems that I had whenever I was looking for this tractor is I was reading forums and I was looking at uh, anything I could find on the tractor, anybody I could talk to about the tractor. And one of the things I found out is people really don't know anything about the tractor about the brand and about the company. My aunt's uncle's cousin has one and it's a piece of junk. That was one thing. But then there was people rebuttaling that saying, now, wait a minute, I've had these tractors for years and, I'm, and they've been great. We're gonna look into some of this and we're gonna find out that LS has been around for a while. They're not a brand new company like some people seem to, seem to say they are. Now, before we get into the tractors themselves, Let's talk about the company and how it got its start. The company started out years and years ago, 1947. It was a company called Lucky Chemical. And actually, it, it, that's the name it was given it, because it's a Korean name. And I, I'm not even going to try to get that, uh, spell that to you or get that correct. But, it, but the actual uh, pronunciation was Lucky. Now it's, now it's interesting to, to know that they were a cosmetic company when they started out. That's the way I understand it. Now, in 1958, another company was started, Gold Star. A lot of you may have heard of Gold Star from years and years ago. A Gold Star used to make electronics and, and other stuff. But now, what happened is Lucky and um, Gold Star, they came together and they created Lucky Gold Star. So why is this important? Well, in 1975, Gold Star started to focus on their tractor market. And they, they were part of Hyundai, okay? And... Um, they had a relationship with Yanmar, they had a relationship with Mitsubishi, um, Fiat, and so forth. And, and, and this is important because I think it starts to create uh, an idea of who Gold Star was back then. Gold Star manufactured a lot of electronics type stuff, radios, televisions, uh, AC, air conditionings, um, as well as, uh, I believe they, they worked with computers, you know, typewriters back in the day. And then uh, they also, but they also were working with uh, escalators and elevators and, and such type of equipment, as well as injection molding equipment or inject, and injection molding, molding machines. Uh, and and then, then they had their tractor line. So I wanna skip ahead for just a moment, a little bit. In 1983, Lucky and Gold Star merged and they become Lucky Gold Star. So this gets really complicated after a while. The reason is, is because a lot of companies, they change names, they, they buy other companies up or they merge or they, and, and the names change and, or, or something like that. And that's what actually started happening with the uh, Lucky Gold Star. And, and at some point, Lucky Gold Star became LG Tractor, okay? And, and if you look at LG Tractor, if you go online right now and you look up Gold Star and Gold Star Tractor or LG Tractor, you're gonna find them. They had names like, uh, I think it's Gold Star Fiat uh, and then the Gold Star brand itself. And under the LG brand, they had LG Fiat as well as LG New Holland. Go online and take a look at that. There's some, some pictures and, and you'll find some information about that. So while under the uh, tractor brand of LG, they made tractors from Montana, Long, as well as farm track and I believe it was TAF, it's T-A-F-E. They made tractors for those different brands. Now, there's an argument that goes around, oh yeah, I bought an LS tractor and I mean, and then they call it an LS tractor and they call it, it's a Montana. Well, guys, do your research because Montana and LS are not the same company. Uh, actually, Montana is a company that was started in Arkansas. So the Montana brand was started in 2004, but not by LS or LG. 
It was started by uh, a company out of Arkansas, J.B. Hunt. You might recognize that name ever trucking company. They were part of that group that started Montana tractors. Now, keep in mind that Montana tractors themselves were not made just by just by uh, LS or LG. Uh, LG, uh, the Montana tractors were making uh, were made by TYM, uh, Escort. I can't remember all of them. Um, I think there's one called, oh, I know what it, uh, Cook J. Those were all making tractors for Montana. So it's not just an LS tractor or an LG tractor at the time. These tractors were being made by other companies as well. Now, LG became LS in 2005. LS Tractor USA started in the United States in 2009. So in 2008, LS Mtron spun off from another company that had was called LS Cable. Now, I don't know a lot about LS Cable. I just know that now they've transferred. In 2008, they've transferred over to LS Mtron. Remember in 2009, they came to the United States. LS, I believe, had got a contract with CNH, Case New Holland, and they began making their tractors as well. Remember, LG had already done that, and so... And when they became LS, LS now is now making tractors now for some of the lower horsepower tractors for New Holland. So now basically this company from 1977 until today has been building tractors either for themselves or for someone else. They've built a lot of tractors over those years. The company has grown and expanded and done a whole lot of different things to, to make this company grow. This is a normal process in any company. Uh, that is growing and, and trying to develop. They they reach out, they start to grow, and uh, they become different. Sometimes they become different companies or different company names. And so, this is what happened with LS. This, they went from, you know, from from Lucky Chemical, all the way through Gold Star to Lucky Gold Star, to uh, Gold Star to LG to LS now LS Impron. Now, uh, they they've made tractors for several different people they're they're in several different countries they're all over the world they're not a local they're not just a, a, a small local company sitting there in korea and, and that's it and they're, th then there's no more you know they're not in the there's not a couple of guys in the barn you know with no shoes on and barefooted and with a with a, a gravel floor building tractors that's not ls that's not who they are so so for this video i purposely didn't get into all the gory details I mean, we could get really far into the, the history of LS or LG or Gold Star and Gold Star Cable Company and all those companies that are involved in creating this company, the LS Impron Company. There's a lot to cover there and probably more information that will bore you to death and we're not going to go there. Not today. Now, one of the things I do want to mention that LS is not, they make a lot of more compact, I would say subcompact, compact, uh, and and then the utility tractors. Their their horsepower ranges go from about 24 horsepower up to 101 horsepower. Uh, the the they start off with what they call their MT1 series. They have an MT2 series, then an MT3 series, an MT4 series is where they begin their utility tractors, and then the MT5, which is this, that's what this one is, and then finally an MT7, which is the 101. I think I've seen them as 115. Now, the tractors that are in the United States, they have different numbers maybe than some of them in other countries. And if you're wondering, the LG group, yes, that's your TVs, your microwave, your refrigerator, uh, and many other things. LG is is a, is a huge company. And they're a multi, they're a billion dollar company. They're uh, maybe multi-billion. I don't know. I didn't do that research. I just know that they're huge. Uh, you probably have LG products in your home. And, and so you may know a little bit about them. Life's good, right? So one of the things we do need to mention, under the LS Corporation, there are several other subsidiaries or, or uh, companies that are involved with this. There's LS Cable Systems. Uh, there's LS Electric there's LS uh, Metal and Material, uh, LS Mtron, which builds the machinery, tractors, and so forth. Uh, there's something called Yesco. I don't know anything about it. Um, there's a company called Ga Gaon, which I think is G-A-O-N. I don't know much about it. And then there's another one called E1. I don't know anything about those two companies, so I'm, I'm not even going to comment on them. 
this is a huge company. These are, this, this company is, is huge. They're not going out of business tomorrow. They're not. LS put their name on these tractors. They put their name on these tractors because I believe that they're a growing company. I believe that the tractors are quality made. I believe they'll be around a long time. I believe that their parts will be there. Their service will be there. Now, I will say, bad dealer support is not going to help matters. And so if you're a dealer watching this and you don't provide service to your people, that's on you. LS will only grow really good if they get good dealer support. Dealers can make or break any company. I don't care if it's John Deere. I don't care if it's Kubota, Coyote, TYM. doesn't matter. What matters is that support. That dealer has to support the product that he sells. People get in there. You know what? Here's not the, it's, that's, that's not just a whole deal. People are going to buy tractors. They're going to buy parts. Uh, they're going to come in for service. Your business survives on those items. In the United States, LS has four assembly uh, plants now. There is one in North Carolina. Uh, there's one in California. There is one in Louisiana. And they just built one here in Texas. There's one here in Texas now. They also have a parts uh, division. I think that's all stationed out of North Carolina. But they have all of that now here in the United States. This is a growing company. This is not some small little mom and pop operation. There's a lot of information here to, to get out to you. And I hopefully, hopefully, I give you the proper information. I can make a mistake, okay? So if you see something there, make a comment down below. I'm not going to get upset. I just need to know that I made a mistake. And then we'll correct it that way. LS is growing. Have they had problems in the past? Yes, they have. Uh, the first times I looked at LS, I walked away. I didn't want to buy an LS. I didn't know what they were. I didn't know anything about them. But the company is growing and making a difference. And people are starting to notice them. And people are starting to buy them. I am not here to sell you an LS tractor. You want to go buy a grain tractor? Go buy you a grain tractor. You want to go buy you an orange tractor? Go buy you an orange tractor. I have never run down any of these brands. I've shown you facts of things I saw on them that I didn't like. But then again, all of these videos have been based around why I bought the LS. And that's the key to this. That's why I'm doing this video. Research. You need to do it. LS has a full research and development team. They are a big company. Get out there and do your research and see what you see. I appreciate everybody. Please sit, like, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks.